Operation Narai, has been out for a while now, and I thought I would give some tips, on how to better your chances of getting 5 stars in this operation. I would like to say that Operation Narai is harder than Raptor Rescue, and it can drive you crazy sometimes. But don't despair, if it is played right the way, getting 5 stars is a lot easier, than a player would think. These observations, and tips are from replays I have watched and from my own experience. First, like Raptor Rescue, get a good ship. A good ship is crucial in this operation. Let me first talk about the ships, that are not good for the operation. Destroyers are not helpful for this operation, because they are easy targets for the enemies. There is one exception though. I was watching a replay and one of the ships that was doing an amazing job was the Leningrad. It is a destroyer, but its specifications makes it play like a cruiser. In addition, Colorado and New Orleans, are not good ships for the operation, Colorado's problem, is its speed which is a certain downside for Narai. The ships that have to be used in Narai should be nimble. Also, New Orleans is a good speed ship, but its reload time, and the fact it has cruiser armor makes it, not the best choice for Operation Narai. The exception is that if you the team, has ships like the Helena, and Atlanta. There is no problem if a player picked the New Orleans. This is not to say that lightly armored ships, are not good for the operation. For example, Helena, and Atlanta, are perfect for this operation, since they are speedy and have a lot of firepower. Personally, the best ship I have used for this operation, is the Nisnow. It is fast, powerful, and stealthy. Its reload is not that bad, and its guns are powerful against enemy vessels. One has to also note, that Nisnow's armor is powerful, even though it is considered like a heavy cruiser, battleship. It also has torpedoes, which is a real plus in the operation. Of course, we can talk all day, about which is the best ship for this operation. But all this talk, means nothing if you do not have a well balanced team, and that leads me to my next point. Second, get a good team. Randomized teams have a potential to become a disaster in the game. You don't know what skills your teammates have, and you don't have any say, on what ships your teammates should have. When a player joins a division, the division commander, can efficiently choose what ships his crew should have, or to check, whether ships his or her teammates, have chosen are reliable for the operation. It also gives chance for the division commander, to let an aircraft carrier to join the team, which is very crucial in this operation. Without the carrier, Narai, becomes harder due to the number of enemy forces. Personally, I have lost many times due to having bad teammates. I usually ended up being the last one surviving, and then losing at the end. Speaking about getting a good team, a division encourages teamwork, since you know who is on your team. And teamwork should be, the prioritized target in this game because without it, the operation will be a total bust.
Third, protect the support and transport ships. Support ships create the floating laboratory, and transport ships bring in the assault troops. Support ships are very important since they help a player's ship stay alive. They are especially vital during the last part of the operation, during the landing of the assault troopers. This is due to the number of enemy ships that spawn in the landing area of the assault troops. Likewise, transport ships have to be defended from enemy fire since they are the ones that bring in the assault troops. If they get destroyed, the mission will not be successful. I believe the first priority for the Allies is to protect the transport ships and then the support vessels. Players must also realize that they must protect transport ships with their own ships. In other words, if a torpedoes are coming your way, and the transport ships are the obvious target, you must get in front of the torpedoes, so they will not hit the transport ships. This usually works well with battleships, and not with light cruisers or destroyers. Fourth, make a plan ahead of time. Without a plan, this operation will be a disaster. I have seen players do whatever they want in the operation, and then got destroyed in the end. One of the best ways to mess up in this operation, is to scatter all over the map. Stay close to the convoy. This is not to say, that you should stay very close to the transport and support ships. If you do that, you will probably get destroyed, because of the slow progression of your ship. One note that all players have to stay alert for, the Missouri. This ship will appear one time in the game, and it will try without warning, to ram into one of the ally ships. Of course, that is not always the case, but most times I have played this mission, that was the case. So. This is the ship that should always be destroyed, before it reaches the convoy. The hardest part of Nara is near the end, when you approach the enemy's zone. This is where the ships spawn in great numbers, and the ally team must be ready for this. If the team has lost half its ships, it will be very difficult, to fight the enemy vessels near the end of the operation. It will also be very hard to complete the operation, if the support ships get destroyed, as the floating workshop will become extinct. As a result, players will not have the chance to repair their ships, and that will greatly minimize the chance to succeed in this mission. What's also important in this mission is to destroy King, the enemy carrier. He can escape unnoticed, if the whole team is focused on the rest of the enemy ships. It is true that destroying King, isn't crucial for the operation, but you will not get the 5 stars if King is not destroyed. As I mentioned before, having a carrier on the team is crucial in this operation. It reduces the stress, from the overwhelming amount of enemy forces that spawn near the end of the mission which results in an easier mission. 
the carrier is also a great tool to get rid of King. I hope these tips are helpful for everyone. I would also like to mention that Narai is a great operation to grind free XP and regular XP. I have heard from several people made huge amounts of free XP from playing Narai in just one day. One person mentioned 300,000 free XP. Thanks for watching my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.